Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we will be reviewing the second aircraft layout for the British Prism Carrier Victorious. Uh, now this layout is not much different than the first one we had. So yesterday's video we had two squadrons of three fighters each and three squadrons of two dive bombers each. And today that is flip flopped. We have three squadrons of two fighters each and two squadrons of three dive bombers each. So not a lot of difference however there is a difference in loading time uh, this one has the fighters uh reload more quickly than the dive bombers so it's kind of a more defensive play um whereas this one has a more offensive play where you can get your dive bombers out quicker than your fighters um but besides that you still have the same number of aircraft for each specific type of aircraft in the air at any given time so we're going to try with this second layout and see how we can do today um all stats and everything is still currently the same as it is in my first video so let's toss into a game and see what we can do all right here for the game we have one carrier only one battleship two cruisers and three destroyers so this can kind of give you an impression of how victorious is against destroyers um because she is mainly a battleship and cruiser killer, and to an extent a carrier killer, but you don't see more than one of those usually in a game, uh, so that's kind of debatable. But she's, or at least in my hands, she's not that good against destroyers. Alright, so you can see here our fighters reload really quickly, but our dive bombers do take a, quite a bit of time. So we're going to get our fighters out first. And then our dive bombers. And we're going to head towards Alpha. And maybe we can play a more uh, defensive game this time. Maybe we can focus on uh, taking down enemy aircraft instead of really doing damage numbers. Alright, so let's see if we can spot the enemy. Oh, we're going to want to stay away from the Minotaurs. Uh, the Akazuki as well, but Tashkent, Jutland, all of this, they're not really that much of a threat. We are going to drop that all of this really quickly here. Even through the Minotaur. Alright, so we gotta make this quick. And let's see what that does. 21 bomb hits, 3 fires, and 3 quarters of the ship is already destroyed. All right, so we're going to spot the Tashkent a little bit. Um, actually, let's stay in the middle here. Or at least close enough. Actually, no, nope, the dive bombers are coming in. Let's see if we can intercept them really quickly here. And we're going to start turning our carrier around because we're getting close to a lot of enemies that we are not focusing on. Alright, let's see if we can catch... Nope, that's a Minotaur. Never mind. Alright, so they have a Minotaur for cover right now, so I can't really do much against them. But our dead bombers are almost ready to come back out. And we can finish off the enemy Minotaur on this side, if she's still alive by then. Alright, so the enemy Minotaur is still up. Let's go see if we can take her out really quick. Alright, 
All right, so maybe something like that. Not the best route. But four bomb hits and a fire, I will at least take a little bit of damage. All right. And it looks like the carrier is going to go after our Akazuki here. So we're going to focus on the fighters because they're going to intercept us no matter what. But maybe we can try and take out some of these dive bombers really quick. Nope, didn't work. I know the Minotaur is off the uh, side of my carrier right now, but I'm trying to focus on these dive bombers. All right. I don't really want to get into a secondary well with the Minotaur, even though that's already happened. But let's get our dive bombers out, let's see what our, our fighter is doing. Oh, they're near the carrier. We don't really need them near the carrier right now. Alright, so dive bombers, let's see your squad five. You come this way. And drop on the mino, maybe we get a hit. Nope. Oh well. And then we're going to go drop the Alzus here. Right, so let's see. That looks to be a perfect drop right now. Mm, well, we still had only one plane, but it at least did a little bit of something. Let's bring our fighters back over here. Dive bombers can come back out as well. We're actually capping Bravo as well. That, that'll help our team. Considering we actually are kind of losing this game. Alright, let's bring our fighters over here. Squad 5 over here, intercept, squad 5, go ahead and drop, another fire, squad 4, come down here, So let's see if we can take out this Minotaur now. There we go. I did see the destroyer over there, the Akazuki. She's pretty close. Alright, so let's see what else we can do. So I'm going to blind drop this Akazuki and see... Actually, if she's still alive by that point. So we're actually just going to bring our bombers over here. And we're going to try and take on this carrier. I'm going to pop a defensive AA since it looks like the carrier has decided that I am a good target. Or at least good enough target for these two bombers. I should be able to knock it down, right? Yep, but not before they dropped. I 
so let's see how many aircraft we can knock out for the time being. It looks like the destroyer did go down. That helps us a lot. All right, so it's just one carrier versus one carrier now. And we both have a little bit of damage. But I have my bombers ready, so let's come on in. And let's see what that does to the enemy victorious. 17 bomb hits, 2 fires, and a ton of damage. Alright, let's see if we can knock down more of these aircraft. Yep, we got one more. Can we get two? There we go. I do have my carrier as a full anti-aircraft build, and that definitely does help. And the carrier, I do believe, should burn down. But we do have our fighters in the air with a little bit of ammo, just in case they don't. Or she doesn't. And that should be game right there. Oh, she was just barely able to put the fires out. You know what? Let's get in the secondary brawl with her. Though I am going to get my aircraft in the air just in case. So we took a little bit more damage, nothing too major I would say. Let's see how many aircraft we can actually knock down from her. I know I can easily one shot her, but I do kind of want to see what I can really do with this carrier. Alright, let's bring all of our aircraft back over here. There's more dive bombers coming back out. We're knocking them down really quickly, actually, um, before they even get close to my ship. She should be out of aircraft at this point. And now all I have to do is get into secondary range and finish her off. Alright, so she had a couple more dive bombers, that's alright. I'm gonna pop a defensive AA, because it's my last one. And I still got through, unfortunately. But that's alright, our repair was off cooldown. So we were able to repair that fire pretty quickly. And then we should be getting close to secondary range at this point. I think it's about 5.5. Maybe? Maybe it's 5.0? We'll see. Alright, I should really be in secondary range at this point. So I'm not quite sure why my gun's not firing. Maybe they can't shoot directly forward. Let's turn a little. Yep, there they go. Though they're turning the wrong way. Secondary brawl for the win. I'm expecting a lot of shatters, and I'm getting a lot of shatters with no damage. 
but as soon as one of these shells does even the smallest bit of damage or even sets a fire, that's going to be her sunk. Alright, so we're, now we're just going to wait to do something at this point. This is a lot of secondary hits. <laughs> or pretty much nothing. I have to start a fire at some point, right? Alright, let's maybe get a little bit closer. Let's see if that helps any. I will ram this carrier if I have to. We're actually losing on points. If I don't sink her, we actually will lose. We still have five minutes though. Alright, let's use the and come in from astern. Can we actually do damage to her? We keep hitting her. Still no fires though. Alright, so if this doesn't prove it, it shows you how pretty useless your secondaries are. Um, I'm literally less than two kilometers away from an enemy carrier, and they're doing absolutely nothing. So your anti-aircraft defenses are actually really good, and your armor is really good, but your secondaries are trash, and your aircraft are really good as well, even though you have small numbers. All right, let's just get this over with. We're actually gonna use a widespread to see what the computer does. And there we go. All right, so let's see how we did. One hundred and forty-nine thousand damage. Two ships are sunk. Sixty-four bomb hits. Thirty aircraft shot down. Ten fires. Two modules destroyed. One capped base and one hundred and thirty-five secondary hits. For ten thousand uh, base XP and fourteen point five thousand free XP, we did fifty-four thousand damage from fires. Secondary battery did four hundred and thirty-four damage, and that is it. On. And then bombs did 94,000 damage. So there's a lot of damage to be done by these bombs. Now when it comes down to which of these layouts I prefer, I am going to go with the first one because you have three separate groups of dive bombers. So you can attack uh, a maximum of three targets. Um, and they also reload and take off a lot quicker when they're only in the two squad or yeah, two aircraft squadrons. So that is the mode that I will be using from now on. Uh, at this point, I will wrap up the video. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And join me tomorrow while we go over the first of hopefully many German destroyers, Z1. So again, thank you and take care.